Okay. <clears throat> I know that not only am I <clears throat> a day late, I'm 26 hours late. That is because I work a job that has very unstable unstable da -da 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 events. But yes, I have found a ROM hack of Final Fantasy Tactics that sounded really interesting. And I have to admit, if it wasn't for uh, Pro Jared's PS1 playthrough, I would have never even thought to look. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I, I hated this game when I was younger. When I first played this game, I hated it. And I think it's because right after this, well, right after the PS1 version, I was excited to play this. And this one is very... Restrictive. <laughs> oh man, why do I get stuck on the weak team? We're just gonna lose. Where's the fun in that? Hey, mute. Where's your little bear today? He didn't want his precious bear to get wet in the snow. Duh, did your mommy give you that bear? I think their mom's dead. <laughs> What's your problem, new kid? Leave him alone. He's not going to say anything. He's like a little girl. Hey, that's gender discrimination. Oh, so this was made in 20... Whatever. And I know some little girls who could kick your butt. <laughs> Whoa, Ritz. What's your problem? You don't want to be on that team, right? How about we switch? Would that be better? Let's start already. You should speak up. Tell them your name, at least. You can't be the new kid forever. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm actually gonna... No. Sorry, Zane. You don't have to apologize, Mute. You haven't done anything wrong. Okay, Mr. Leslie, we're ready to go. Then let's get this snowball fight roof started! Ready? Team activity, snowball fight! <laughs> Gotten used to snow in St. Valis yet, Zane? It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Yes, sir. It never snowed. This is practically my first snowball fight. Really? Then let me give you some pointers. Ritz, could you help us out? Yes, Mr. Leslie. So, long story short, this is basically a tutorial on how the battle wor system works. And... I, I'd give this credit. This is actually a really neat way to teach you how to go through everything. This is the way Tactics 1, Tactics 1's tutorial fight with Gafgarn and Rad and everybody, how quote-unquote serious that is, that sets the tone for Tactics 1. This one sets the tone for Tactics Advance. At least, I think so. 
from what I what I remember. One damage. But yeah, as as I said, I'm 26 hours late to this stream, which I was I got stuck doing a uh, yeah, it was pretty much a 21 hour shift, and when doing that, I came home and took the next day off, and I was debating on streaming at night, but. The second I kind of relaxed, I died. So that didn't happen. And I really did want to... Well, I've been pondering on what I've really been wanting to play. Oh, there's this trick to throwing. It's easier to hit someone from the side or behind. Like watching Pro Jared play Tactics One <gasps> they say difficulty. If if you're a fan of Tactics at all and <laughs> I don't know, her her face makes her look kinda old. Or adultish. Whatever. If you're a fan of Tactics One, I highly recommend checking out Jared stream on that. It's really interesting, and he's... <laughs> he's such a good host. And he has them all up on YouTube, too. It's a long watch, but, uh... I like it anyway. I actually don't know if it's gonna... Oh. Hey! No running away, Mute. But that's what Mute does best. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think they're gonna make us go the whole way all out and kill people here. <laughs> Will you two stop it? What? We're not breaking any rules. Sure, you've been aiming at Mute this whole time. Are you okay, Mute? Yeah, I'm fine. See? He says he's fine, so what's the problem? He knows you'd pick on him worse if he said anything else. Ow. Mute, your forehead is bleeding. Huh? There was a rock in that snowball. Hey, I didn't throw any rocks. It's Mute's fault for being so lame. Isn't this a PSA for bullying? <laughs> he's, so, he's an easy target, and we've got to get points, right? So the end justifies the means? You guys are horrible. Whatever you say, Whitey Locks. Yeah, this is a PSA for bullying. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> we know you dye your hair because it's really all white. Yeah, just like an old grandma. <laughs> little prissy grandma. Step over here and say that again. Nah. <laughs> There's the judge mechanic. <laughs> Children, behave! This snowball fight is over! Lyle, Colin, Guinness, I want you to come with me. Mute, how's your forehead? It's okay. I'm fine. Really. That's it for class today. The rest of you can go home. Uh, um. Thank you. I can't stand bullies who pick on little kids. Those jerks. So, Zane, what are you doing after this? Huh? Why? I was going to go buy this book, and I was wondering if you wanted to come along. 
sorry, I can't. My little brother's getting out of the hospital today. Hospital? Was he sick? No, it's something he was born with. We have to take him to the hospital every now and then. Wow, that's rough. What kind of book are you going to buy? It's about monsters and magic and stuff like that. Why don't you bring it over to my house? I'm sure Doned. Doned. Doned? Doned? Dooned. Doned. I don't know. Doned. My brother would love to see it. Well, if you're sure it's okay. Absolutely. Why don't you come too, Ritz? Me? Um, gee. I guess I don't have any other plans. Okay. Great. You two know where my house is, right? You stalkers. It's the yellow house, right? I'll come over as soon as I buy that book. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Yay, I'm part of the loser click. <laughs> Gosh, I'm really sorry. Uh-oh. I'm really, really sorry. Please accept my apologies. Mr. Randall, we expect a certain level of performance, regardless of circumstances. It won't happen again. Don't worry, I'll fix things up here. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, shall we? Look at that guy cringing like that. Embarrassing. Mute. Mute. It is you. Hi, Dad. School's out already? Yeah. These your friends? Um, don't you still have work to do, Dad? Ah, uh, yeah, you know, busy, busy, busy. You all keep an eye on mute for me, eh? He used to work at a bigger company before. When Mom died, he stopped caring. He broke down big time. He seems nice. Not many parents talk to their kids like that. I bet you used to go out on vacations and stuff a lot. Well, we'll be waiting for you at my place. Mute, how much do you know about Zane? Huh? I guess your family has had its problems too, but I heard that Zane doesn't have a dad. Oh, so I think it's his dad that's dead, not his mom. Don't. Oh, hiya. Welcome back. You're kind of late, aren't you? We had a snowball fight at school. I'm totally soaked. A snowball fight, huh? Did they pick on you again? I'm just not used to the snow, that's all. Yeah, you always were bad at sports. Wah, 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 wah. Tell them to come on up. You invited over some friends? Yeah, one of them says he found this really cool book. I thought you might want to see it too. You like books, don't you? You're always reading them. That's just the only thing I can do. Oh. <laughs> only because there's nothing else to do at the hospital. Nothing except read and play games. Hello, we're here. You must be Doned. I'm Ritz. I'm your brother's classmate. And this is Mute. Hiya. You get that book, Mute? 
Yeah, right here. But I don't know what the title is. Even the guy at the used bookshops couldn't read it. Wow, it looks really old. Let's see what it says. Can you see Donned? Maybe it's Donned. I don't know. To Doomed? That really bothers me. <laughs> One thing that really threw me off with Advance, this is the start of like a bunch of races in Final Fantasy the whole and I don't really know any of their names um, like the crocodile people which um, crocodile people I think the Vera started here the bunny people and the uh, the Eeyore people, which I'll never remember the name. They just look like Eeyore. I can't read these letters at all. Maybe there's some kind of magic spell. You might not be too far off. Look, a magic circle. Maybe this is in Latin or something. There are some la later editions. What does this say? Alta Oron Sondas Camellia. It sure sounds like magic. Wow, a magic book. I wish I could use magic. I knew you'd like it, Doned. Donned. Donned. I don't... I don't know. If you could use magic, maybe you'd be better at sports. <laughs> if you could use magic, maybe you could walk. <laughs> That's not funny for anybody. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It'd be cool if this really were a magic book. Haven't you ever read a book and thought, what if the world in this book was a real world? I don't know. Most books are so boring. They're all way too predictable. Well, what do you like, Ritz? Comic books? Games. You know, fighting monsters and all that. Okay, if you could make any game real, which would it be? Hmm, that's a good question. I forgot about this self-awareness. <laughs> I'd pick Final Fantasy. That's my favorite. My, my. Look at the time. I should get going soon. Yeah, me too. See you at school, Zane. Thanks for having us over, Zane. Nice meeting you too, Doned. Dawn. See you later, Ritz. Wait, I'll see you guys out. Be right back, Dawn. I wish I could use magic. Okay, Mom. I don't know if they actually ever say what happened to Dawn. To put him in that way. I don't know if they explain why anyone's dead. So there's a lot of missing parents and all that fun stuff. Oh, you know what? For the stream here, I'm just now realizing I don't have... Um, I do not have... There we go. The actual gameplay footage needed to be like 10 pixels bigger for it to actually fit fully. That's actually a pretty neat looking effect. <laughs> that 
that'll teach him. <laughs> That's a weird question. Now that I think about it. Um. Well, well, we'll get into that later. If I even remember. But, um... None of the kids... Or the main characters don't really change. They're all the same race. And we've just seen a bunch of pedestrians completely more... I don't know if it explains why these guys don't morph. Huh? Where am I? But this hack apparently rebalances a lot of things, adds a bunch of new classes, and makes it so uh, clans scale with me levelly, so all clans won't be pushovers. If you don't know what clans are, we'll get to that here in a minute. Oh, excuse me. Watch where you're going, son. Y you're a lizard. What did you say? I, um, ERP? No. You said lizard. It takes a lot of nerve to call a banger a lizard. Kubo! There you are, Kubo! Yes, Moogles are playable in this game, so you can have a full army of nothing but Moogles. Moogle. This human brat with you. Yes, Koopa. He's just come in from the countryside, you see. Apologize to the Bango, Koopa. Um, uh. Sorry. Please excuse him. He's not used to seeing Bango. Hey, you wait. Koopa? Those clothes. You're a soldier, aren't you? A soldier? Yes. So you wouldn't mind a little engagement. Would you marry me? <laughs> huh? What's going on here? <laughs> He's engaging you, Kubo. Defeat all enemies. So, I'm guessing they're going to explain the whole judge mechanic here in a second. But Monteblanc here, he's a black mage. And he's pretty much your... He's your Navi. But nowhere near as annoying, because he's a Moogle. Wait a second, I get it. Engage means fight. You sure are a keen observer of the obvious, Koopa. There's the judge, and the laws for today are all set. Judge? Laws? Uh-oh, don't tell me you don't know about those. The laws today forbid the use of all items, Koopo. Always be sure to check the laws or you'll be sorry. <clears throat> um, uh... Okay, wait. So an engagement is a battle, and the laws are the rules for the battle, and that guy in armor is the judge. Koopo, it's your turn, Koopo. Use your sword and your abilities. I'll back you up. Um, okay. Here goes. Um, let me see. How do you... There we go. Yeah. You'll get a bonus if you use dark, and you get a penalty if you use items. Let's see what I'm working with here. Cool. Oh, first aid only works on myself. Um, I haven't played this game in so long, I couldn't even tell you what exactly what the, the mod differences will do. When I notice them, I'll definitely point them out, but...
but I do know when I first played this game, the second I realized that there was rules to a, a battle, it completely... I was pretty much turned off immediately. But, I did go the whole way through and beat the game. Because, <gasps> there is some really neat multiplayer things you can do. If I remember right. I was pretty sure you could battle each other. And even do some missions together. Which they added that in the PSP remake of the first game. Which was also really cool. And Monteblanc is like the weirdest looking Koopo, portrait-wise. Portrait you see him on the field, he, he looks like a Moogle. But his, whoa. His portrait here. That just looks, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, whatever. Maybe it's more realistic or something that I don't even know. That for the snowball fight. So essentially we have two tutorial battles here. One to teach you judge and laws. Well, one to teach you basics and one to teach you the judges and the laws. I don't even know why the judge has a turn. Like, he doesn't have any moves. He doesn't do anything. I don't think you can... Like... I don't think you can maneuver yourself to where you can do something illegal and he won't notice it. Though if you can, that would be really cool. But yeah, um, reason for my job, the reason I couldn't work or anything, I, uh, we have this giant list that we, that is organized via seniority, and when they need somebody on shift, they quote unquote, they, they mandate you, so you get forced to work a double, which is what happened to me the other day, which... You know, a normal double would just be 16 hours. Well, I get stuck on this trip. And we gotta run a guy down to Pittsburgh to get some surgery done. And there's an outpatient surgery. And I, you know, when I leave, I'm thinking I'd probably be back by 2 p.m., 3 p.m. No, I didn't. Like, I got. I got paid until 7 p.m. I didn't get home until about 7:30, 7 7:45. 7 and like the drive, it's the drive itself was two hours long, the, but it was early enough in the morning to where we didn't we didn't have any issues. And the drive back, um, we took the same route. And there was a wreck. Um, and the wreck added an, uh, another half an hour onto that trip. But the wreck was something that deep down I've always wanted to see. Which might sound kind of fucked up, but it... Curiosity. One of those trailers that's always taking... Um, like one of those tra tractor trailers. A semi-truck. That's carrying like a trailer of a house or whatever. Apparently, 
wrecked into the ditch. And the house exploded everywhere. <laughs> judge point? What's that? Collect judge points. That way you can use combos with other clan members. It makes engagements a snap. Koopa. So all I have to do is defeat my opponents. Gotcha. And you can also get judge points for doing the recommended action. So if we had some dark spells or something. Like Demi. <sighs> Things like that. But uh... So, yeah, we, like, it was interesting to see, um, nobody got hurt, luckily. Amazingly, actually. But, there was wood everywhere. Like, it, it almost looked like somebody just shot the house off of the tractor with a cannonball. That also exploded. I have a really crappy picture of it. But maybe I'll throw it in the Discord or something. <laughs> Which I already showed nearly the picture. That was a very hilarious death noise. <laughs> Whew. I guess I made it somehow. Yay. <laughs> That's a horrible fanfare, too. <laughs> Grr, I'm hurt. Where is that potion? Infraction of law forbidding items. All violators will be sent to prison. Yep. <laughs> Kupo, the slammer. I hope I never get sent there. The slammer? Yeah, prison. They send people who break the law there. Oh, it's a dark and scary place, Kupo. <sighs> Perpetrator sentenced and imprisoned. Visitors are asked to go to the prison facility in Sporum. Sporum. Sprom? Prison? What have I gotten myself into? Oh... Hold on, I keep getting... Actually, you can probably hear the annoying notifications I keep getting. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> Never ever call a Banga a lizard, Kupo. Sorry, I really didn't know. You have seen a Banga before, right, Kupo? Um, yes. Well, no. Not a real one, at least. Kupo, where exactly are you from, Kupo? Kadone? Muscadet? I... I don't know. I'm all confused. And to top it off, I'm talking to a stuffed animal. A stuffed animal? I'll have you know I'm a moogle, Kupo. Fine, so you're a moogle. What's that? How do you know what a banga is, but not a moogle? Well, that book did have bangas. I don't recall moogles being in it. Okay, I believe you. You're confused. Let me explain. This is the town of Cyril. Cyril? Cairo? Cairo? Cyril. In the land of Avalis. Avalis? That's the name of the town where I'm from. Town? But Avalis is a country. Not my Avalis. And there's no lizard... Uh, banga there either. What about Moogles? Surely the other towns have them. Nope. We just have normal things, like dogs and cats. But you said you'd seen a Banga, only not a real one. What did you mean, Kubo? Well, it's just... I seen a banga, but in a computer game, not real life. Kubo? It's called Final Fantasy. Did, is... There's no other 
Final Fantasy games with bangers at this point. Is there? I don't think so. It's like a pretend world with heroes and monsters. So you're saying here is just like your pretend world? Yeah. Come to think of it, it's just like in the game. Okay, now I'm the one that's confused, Koopo. Sorry, I know I'm not being very helpful. No, this is by far the most Koopo story I've ever heard. You're telling me. Of course, I'm not entirely sure I believe you, Koopo. I can, I can hardly believe it myself. What should I do? I think our meeting like this was no accident, Koopo. Stick with me and I'll help you out, Koopo. Thanks. By the way, I'm Zane. What's your name? They call me Montblanc. 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 Koopo. Come with me, Zane. What's this place? This is where our clan members hang out. Clans are like groups of people who work together. Wow, everybody looks so tough. Well, our clan takes on some pretty rough jobs. Of course, the pay's good, and there's never a dull moment. Maybe someone here knows how I can get back home. You could ask around, Koopo. Can I join the clan too? Sure thing. I just have to introduce you, and you're in. Hey everyone, I'd like to introduce Zane. Um, hello. Me and the others will help you out. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> and maybe we can help you find your way home, Koopo. Say, Monteblanc, does this clan have a name? Well, it's kind of a small clan, so no, not yet. Koopo, why don't you give it a name, Koopo? Me? To commemorate your joining the clan. Make it a Koopo one. <laughs> Nazi. Really? Is that the default? I guess that is a Koopo name. Um, I'll just go with what we usually call any of our clans on video games. Yes. Hmm, how about Shinokin? Koopo, henceforth we shall be called Clan Shinokin. Did I add an extra N to that? No. Oh. Okay, let's get you settled in, shall we, Koopo? This is where we are right now, in the palace. Simples are received when you complete a mission. Place them to add new missions at the pub. Place them in a special order to reveal treasures. Try to find the special combinations yourself. Okay. Place location spawn. <clears throat> I have no idea what these... Lo try to find special locations thing? I don't know. I guess I'll put it there. Because it's now by this. I don't know. Um, but now I, oh, I don't get that purple moogle? Clifford. Christine? <laughs> Dark. Joseph. Let's see. What jobs do I have? Um, I want to be a thief. Takes enemies' items. Mog, not applicable. Human, archer level 2. So I am going to be an archer. Um, ooh, might want to get myself some items here. Yeah, well, let me see. Um. Oh, I don't want Montblanc. A bard. I don't remember that. Warrior poet whose voice is a weapon. 
I'll keep him as a black mage. Dark the soldier. Keep him there. Monk. Or warrior. White mage. Black mage. Beastmaster. I'll keep Cliff there. Ah, uh, Christine's an archer. Fencer. Uses rapier for accurate, elegant combat. Let's make her a fencer. <laughs> Hopefully I can buy some stuff here. Okay. Um... Oh, brother. That's a lot of jobs. That is a lot of jobs. I do not have a lot of money though. Buster sword. Onion sword. Price. Sure starts out with a lot of things. Oh, here we go. That there's a rapier. Fencer, elementalist, and a red mage. Um, okay, got the rapier for her. Jeez. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be messing out with. Messing around with people's, uh, people's. Oh, I'm sorry, Blake. I just now seen you. <laughs> I guess I got a little focused on what I was doing. <laughs> sorry. Bye. Nice to see you. <laughs> I don't know what I told you to settle in for. I don't remember. Oh no, my controller's not working all of a sudden. What did I do? I have no idea. Why controller not working? Is it because I didn't answer you, Blake? I didn't mean to not answer you. Can you can you make my controller work again? I'm not even sure if you can hear me. How the hell did I miss what you're saying when it's I don't know. Well I gotta mess with uh Christ. Input and figure. Huh. I it, like this thing This just must not be a very plug and play acceptable. Oh there was some, there we go. What the hell happened there? Um, yeah, there's there's no just best item button. That kind of sucks. Uh, oh, oh. oh yeah, I should be able to equip um pretty much. Now, everybody only has, like, one item equipped anyways. I don't know if she can help. Okay. 
Yeah, I should at least buy her some armor. The monster bank? Welcome to the monster bank. How may I help you? You have to capture a monster before you can raise it. Hmm. Don't quite recall monsters in this game too well. Probably goes with uh, Beastmaster. Chain plate? Oh, fencer, fencer. There it is. Yeah, let's go with that. Hey, now I'm broke. I should save it, so I don't have to do any of that again. And, uh, just like when I was trying to do Battle Network, I'm going to be making save states when I oh, you, you already know what I save right there. Um, let's go over here and see if we can get into a battle. Um, Battle's not... well... I don't know if, if battles work this way. Maybe not. Let's go see what's... oh, prison? Yeah, let's go bother him. Welcome to the prison, where the law is master and justice is served. Release? Hmm, doesn't look like anyone you know is here. Pardon? Okay. Pub? Whoops. Heard the latest rumors. Oh, brother. Ugh. Laws have been a part of life in Avalis for hundreds of years. The king in those, those days used powerful magic to create the first laws. The king then established the judicial system to enforce his laws. Knowledge of the means to control the laws has been passed down the royal line ever since. So, like... Judges have some sort of magical power for the laws. Resentment towards Queen Remedy has been building these last few years. The reason frequent and seemingly arbitrary changes in the laws has gone so far that some pudents wryly say she's doing it to please that brat, the prince. I hear clan Borzos on the warpath these days, challenging other clans fighting for turf. Ah, things aren't the way they used to be. Word on the streets that Clad Borzaz got the backing of a foreign criminal rig. Maybe one with eyes on Valus itself. Abilities. Mm. And yeah, another thing here is your abilities are purely based on what you have equipped. And, that, and that's how you learn them. And it's just explaining abilities, job changes, expert jobs? better you were at one job, the more job options that become available. Okay. Conditions. Wait. Chocobos have been a rare sight as of late. Rumor has it the increased number of monsters have driven them away. Judge Sid has declared poaching these majestic creatures punishable by 10 years. Jeez. Eh, combos. Laws. And... Treasure hunts. Sometimes treasures appears when you place a symbol on the world map. When you see a symbol shaking, that's where you go to get treasure. Hmm. Judges use a ranking system classify laws stricter to the law the higher its rank. R1 laws are easy, but an R5 law is nothing but trouble. Okay. Oh, missions. I... Oh. <laughs> I have to pay for the information on a mission. That's not good. I know it has monies. <laughs> Let's go to the shop and sell something. Um, well then. It, it, there's, there's gotta be some kind of monster thing somewhere. Is it not 
just a thing that happens? Pub? Maybe, maybe this one's got missions. And it's got the same missions. And same rumors. That's actually kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing this does not work like Tactics 1. So, I gotta get come up with 300 gil. Sell that and one Phoenix down. And I'll go. God damn it. Go pick me some herbs and then I think I will call it a day there. If you can hear me, Blake, I'm really sorry I didn't see you talking. I'm sorry. Looking for people to gather the fever reducing herb Musamalo on the Ginza Plates. No experience necessary. Avellus Pharmacist Guild. Um, oh, that's right. You can kind of get like mission items, which is neat. And they will either be something very important to the mission, or they will kind of give you like little perks for being on the mission. Which we don't have any. So... Oh. Kupo, you find any good missions, Kupo? Yeah, there was one that seemed easy enough. When can you start, Kupo? Right away. Well, let's get ready, then. I want to make your first mission a success, Kupo. Okay. Go down here. Go pick us some herbs by killing everything around. We'll have to deal with these monsters first. Then we can gather those herbs. I told you our clan does rough work, Koopa. Yeah. Um, whoops, wrong button. Let's see, I definitely want Christine. Is always good. Uh, ah, let's give Joe Joe here a chance. Yeah, like this is what's we kind of weird to me. Maybe I don't know, because there's laws for like fighting these monsters that are obviously going to attack any any innocent people so I don't know I, I guess goblins deserve rights too and fairies Swarm Strike. Oh, adds poison. Oh, and it doesn't seem to take any MP. So I do remember. Let's see. 88 damage. 28, 2 damage. Uh, I do. Jeez. That the fencer is mainly. Like a status effect melee. Four damage. Four damage. Four damage. So I don't want to hit her with magic. Nineteen. 
It'll be much nicer when I kind of get the memory of who's weak to what. Okay, it just does all the same damage. Why does Blizzard cost less? Oh crap, I didn't even look at the laws. I might want to look at that before I go and screw something up. Let's see. No fire and no law cards. And ice. Law cards are something... I don't think we'll see that for a long time. But it, uh... It lets you change. Wait, what? Booze. Add focus. I limit break. Let's try this focus out here. Yay! I was actually surprised with Final Fantasy XIV that uh, more of these races didn't show up. Actually, as of right now, none of them have shown up in XIV. There's rumors of the Viera coming out some event someday. Well, maybe not even rumors, I guess more of just want. But, and they've, sh actually, they've shown the Banga with the, the new tactics reference raids that have come out recently with Stormblood. And Moogles have always been pretty prominent in the game, but they don't, you can't be them or anything, they're just, they're... Just that PC using a beast tribe and stuff like that. And there's no charging in this game. Like with Tactics 1, every kind of a lot of abilities that have wait times before they'll actually go off. Which can be... Um, which can render some abilities useless and others... <laughs> and others not worth the wait. All kinds of stuff. Which I, I hated. Oh, you piece of shit. There's a main character you'd think I'd be, you know, maybe not a piece of shit archer. Maybe at least an okay one.
Uh, hmm. Now, I wonder if this poison is 100%. Because, I mean, so far it has been. Hmm. Not there. There she could just be immune to it, too. also can't name any of your party members in this game, and you can't change their name either, which I'm not a big fan of that. I really liked being able to... Whoa, what am I doing? I really liked being able to customize my own team name-wise. It's one of those things that just adds more more attachment to each character. Actually, I'm not sure how... I think recruiting in this game is, like, completely random. As in, just sometimes after a fight, somebody comes up to you and says, Hey, can I join... can I join you? Woo! Oh, plus I don't want to use fire. Let's go after her. Let's see, it's got three. There's like no penalty to using her abilities. Oh, I'm sorry. not liking the Vanga very much. Um, at least not until I got, like, got him to Templar or Dragoon. And even then, I think I just had one so that I was racially diverse. <laughs> like it's not happening. I don't know if height changes archer length like it does in the other one. 
There's so many things that it's hard to remember. Cliffer. But then again, um, since there's not much of a reason to be attached to these people, I'm gonna have to give the give me a reason to be attached to them. Some other time, though. Because I've already went past my one hour mark, which is when I usually stop. Whew, that's all of them, I think. What were we looking for, Koopa? Some kind of medicinal herb. Musima something? Musimaloi. That grows all over the place, Koopa. Huh? Really? Yeah, there's some right here, there, and over there, too. I used to pick it all the time when I was little, Koopa. The info fee for this mission was cheap, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, it was pretty cheap, I guess. Mad figures. Still, it's probably good to start slow. Let's pick us some herbs and get back to town. Koopa. Yay! Ah, now what do I- this is a mountain. Where do I want to put the mountain? Uh, let's make- let's do that. Ooh. What treasure could lie in wait here? Sergeant. Yay, a bandage. Alright, an item. Okay. So that's been turned in. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much... Well, let me go through the party here again real quick. Oh, that's right. Uh, dreams end. Rent a unit's equipped weapon. Does that me break it? Oh, and it's a counter. Hmm. Centaurian. Ranged combo ability for time mages. Oh, no. no, I think the C is consistent. Or constant. That would be the counter ability. Does he have? Army of one. Failproof combo ability for paladins. Oh, it's a combo ability. Failproof combo ability for gladiators. And for illusions. Okay. For fencers. Oh, shield breaker. Oh, shield bearer. Okay. How do you know? Wait a minute. Oh, you need to know two abilities as an archer. Okay, there we go. There's boost. Archer ability. Oh, Ramu. Huh. Save it. <gasps> now we're dead. Not too bad. Give up the save state here. And alrighty. Well, oh, and there goes my controller. <laughs> but 
all right that's the stream thanks for watching i'm really sorry i didn't see your stuff blake hopefully next time i'll be paying more attention see you guys later well see you guys tomorrow bye